Kayla, what's it like to grow up in Brookfield? What, what was your experience there? Growing up in Brookfield is an amazing place. Um, it's definitely a family home. Um, we're very sport oriented and it's a great place to get a lot of experience just being in class three and just growing up in that um, athletic environment. You played not only basketball there, but a couple other sports, right? Yes, I did softball and I did track. What, what were you like as a track athlete? Track, um, I did triple jump at, for my first two years, my freshman sophomore year, I ended up getting injured, so I had to stop doing that. But I was a sprinter. I did the 400, 4x4, 4x2, 4x1, open one, open two. Just a little bit everything. of everything, yeah. 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 And you played softball as well. What position? Um, I played shortstop and mainly third. My third was my strong so spot in softball. So. so you make the decision at the college level to play basketball. What was how was that decision what went into it um i decided that i wanted to play college basketball at a really young age um it was definitely just something that drawed my attention at a younger age with my father just coaching me and he knew how bad i wanted it so we just said you know let's go and get it let's work for it and that's what we did so did you have teammates around that helped with that in uh, high school yes definitely cassie connard and um kate ewing were really big helps um Ka me and cassie did basketball from a young age together all the way up until high school and you know she was going to do college basketball but she just decided that she wanted to move on to bigger better better things which is perfectly fine you know basketball doesn't last forever but yeah. i wanted to lengthen that out and make sure i got all the experience i could get get and what's college basketball been like what's the move been like definitely um i love it um i would never go back and change what what decisions i've made trend's a great place to be um even just being a family, like I love these girls off the court just as much as I do on the court. Um, it's a great experience. When it comes to academics, you've always been pretty good. I know you were like an honor roll and uh, academic all-state uh, player in high school. How is the college academic life? Um, it's definitely tougher, but there's nothing I can't handle. Um, academics is, came natu naturally to me, thankfully, with my father. Um, I learned at a young age that academics is most important, so I definitely get my head down and grind on that. Toughest class so far? Um, my toughest class right now would probably be physiology just because I haven't learned all that stuff again because I did it in my senior year and sometimes it just leaves a, your brain sometimes but yeah. um, it's definitely been a, a challenge but nothing I can't handle. You're the first generation of real online people uh, you know last year in high school this year I'm sure you've had some experience there. What's that been like for you? A big change? Um, yeah online is tough um, you got to learn stuff on your own you don't have um, people that you can talk to face to face you definitely can go and talk to your um, professor but definitely learning that is a big experience so Kaylee Stuffelbean is our guest here at halftime and I guess I'm going to admit this on the air that I screwed up the first interview so I really appreciate you doing this again and I'm sure you recognize all these questions are the same so yes. let's get to your family talk to me about your, uh, um, your, your your parents your siblings all of that my family is the most biggest blessing I have in my life um, my parents have given me every opportunity. They've not shortened me of anything. Um, they've led me to where I am today. My dad's pushed me so hard and I appreciate him for getting me where I am. My mom has just made me into the woman I am today and just, I love my family. Um, my, I have three younger siblings. I'm the oldest of four. Um, I have a 13 year old sister, Haven. She's in middle school sports. She does softball, basketball, and track as well. I have a 12 year old brother. He does traveling wrestling, um, football. He does baseball. He's an amazing guy. Um, I also have a six-year-old sister. She does gymnastics and softball, and she's just a lot of my life, and I love them so much. Were your folks athletes? Yes, my folks were athletes. They also graduated from Brookfield in 2001. My dad did football um, and basketball. My mom was softball, basketball, and track, and she was an amazing basketball athlete, and I think that's just where I got it from. Yeah, yeah. What's the most enjoyable thing about being at North Central? Definitely just being, being in the environment. Um, they're very welcoming and they treat you just like you're a part of their family. Um, Coach Croy and Coach Collins have definitely just welcomed me as the, one of their daughters and they treat me just like how they would their own children and it's definitely an experience and I wouldn't trade for the world. Kaylee, what are you going to do after North Central? Um, I'm going to go to Research Medical Center in Kansas City um, and do my radiology technology 23 month program and get my degree in radiology. 
what interests you about the field of radiology? Where did that come from? Um, I've definitely been on the patient side very often with injuries and things, and so I decided that it definitely intrigued me. Um, so I shadowed it during high school, and I just kind of fell in love with it. What was your most significant injury that you needed radiological treatment? <laughs> oh, too many to count, but oh. definitely um, I dislocated my kneecap in high school during softball. And Ouch. yeah, so I had to go in and make sure that there's nothing broke, um, got an MRI, some other things. So yeah. Well, don't do that anymore, <laughs> okay? And uh, let, uh, let other people do that and you take care of them. Yes, definitely. Kaylee, thank you for your patience doing this yeah. twice now. Appreciate yeah. that. And best no of luck. No problem. Thank you. And we'll be back in just a moment.